Back in July 2022, I got in contact with nine of the leading FrameMakers modders who were making custom content before FrameMakers was released. We've come a long way since then, so today I've gotten in contact with 22 of the best FrameMakers creators to show you how much custom content has improved, including some creators from the original video. First, let's look at how Nyon's work has changed since that original video. Today, instead of a few sprite and animation concepts, Nyon has made Demo into a fully playable character. Demo isn't finished, but as you can see, she is coming along nicely. Nyan has also changed the palette of the upper level stage, which still features that iconic hole of death. Alongside the stage, Nyan released this stage called Fox, which is what it is to be honest, not much else to say about it. Nyan has also made Wireframe, which uses Salt Level Max's Captain Falcon as a base and has extra lives in exchange for everything else. And finally, Nyan has been working on the Forest Naval stage, which is a pretty huge stage which works best with four players, and has started work on turning the fruit bowl concept into a character. In 2022, Obelisk revealed his renders of Virtual Boy Sora, and now VBS has made it into frame makers as an assist. Virtual Boy Sora uses Stun Impact, which paralyzes the opponent for a second before sending them upwards, which can be very useful for starting or continuing combos. In the original video, DSF revealed their concepts for a bunch of Undertale frame makers creations. Today these concepts have become the Undertale AU Assist Pack, which features assists like Papyrus Recovery Center, Swapfell Papyrus, Pruncel, and Sandswitch.png. There's also a silly version of this pack, which features unbalanced characters like Roblox Dust Trust Sands. So that's what some of the OG Frey toolers are up to today, but that's just a small taste of the current state of FreyMaker's custom content. So let's take a look at what other creators have been up to recently. Here we have Batman fighting Pepper Pig, two creations by Strike JP. Strike JP's inspiration for Pepper came due to his daughter's obsession with everything Pepper Pig. Strike thought it would be fun to make her so that his daughter could have Pepper to move around with on a controller. Pepper actually turned out to be a pretty fun Zona character, and if anything, is a fun meme pick. Pepper also slowed down Strike's Batman project, which was originally planned to be made first. Batman is a strong fighter that also comes with all his fun gadgets like a gliding cape, batarang, and grapple hook. I'm going to give Strike JP the best parent award, cause just wow, what a legend. Dark Striller has made Scorpion Matero, which is a meme from Argentina. It's a photo of a man dressed as Scorpion, preparing a drink with the text, which is a local expression for, I don't care. The meme comes from 2005, but has mostly been forgotten until today. Domino Dropkicks has made Krillin. Krillin is a Dragon Ball character, so he has the Kai Blast, a beam, and even a power-up move. Krillin can power up after filling his meter with attacks or his Kai Charge move. It was made as part of Dragon Ball Week, which is when a bunch of people in Discord dedicated a week for Dragon Ball custom content. What happens when you try to play FrameMakers without any internet? You get this stage by Drake Waffle. No internet is a stage where the hazards on and off layouts are very different. Hazards off spawns in platforms from the right that fly across the stage. Meanwhile, Hazards On works like the original game, where it spawns in cacti and birds that you have to jump over. And on both versions, when a player dies, the hazards and platforms speed up. This stage shows the potential of FrameMaker's stages, which I feel people don't really make enough of right now. NCM Lux has made Iron Tager, a grappler who is too slow to chase people down, so he has certain moves that magnetize the opponent for a length of time, which allows Tager to pull the opponent towards himself. His strongest move would be Spark Bolt, a fast moving projectile that applies magnetism to the opponent and can start combos. Its use requires a charge that slowly builds over time, but can also be charged manually if the opponent doesn't approach. Gaming has made Ronald McDonald in Frame Makers even stronger. He can now stop time, just like Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which allows him to wipe out basically every single player in a match, but it does require a bit of a charge up in order to activate, so it's not that overpowered, which is a funny thing to say when talking about Ronald, but here we are. Never mind, it's completely overpowered. Basically, even your most average Ronald gameplay is now a total sensory overload full of explosions and death. When he finally gets added, FrameMakers is just gonna become pure chaos, and I, for one, cannot wait.
You will never guess who Hyper Metal Sonic has made. That's right, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic has some very fun moves and potential combos. I particularly enjoyed his up strong, which shoots up a bolt of electricity before recovering and is super useful. Hyper made Metal Sonic because Metal Sonic is cool. Next up we have a big update to Torchic by Jada. This update cleans up all of his sprites, updates his render and works on balance. The specials are still strong, but they have been toned down a little to make them fairer. Along with this update, Jada has made Lily Cove City which will serve as Torchic's home stage. At the time of recording this video, it's still a work in progress, but the plan is to have an interesting platform layout and a few stage hazards. Jadot has also made Totodile, who is a close range fighter with multiple command grabs. He's another custom sprite creation, this time with some help from Salt Levels Max. Totodile is a little bit stubby range wise, but his moves can hit pretty hard when used correctly. Next up we have the Lolbit Assist by Jetty. Lolbit is a big circle command grab that is mainly used for combos. This assist is basically a stronger version of Super Hexagon with a bigger grab radius. Cactus Guy has put yet another SSBU character into Frame Makers, this time making Incineroar. Incineroar is a unique heavyweight brawler. He has 8 directional tilts, 5 in total, and 10 extra special input moves, which you can see by opening a command list in-game. His strongest move is either up B, which kills incredibly early if it spikes off stage, or let's kill him, which insta-kills your opponent of choice, but the input takes forever to do and can only be done once on last stock. Cactus has also made a stage, Sunset Shore. This stage is the first stage which Cactus has completely sprited himself, and has this really cool unique effect where it gives every single character a silhouette. Here we have Snowball by Kirby Zaz SVG. This is an agility based character which is 100% animated using the puppet animation method instead of normal sprite animation. This took only 2 weeks to make and is Kirby's first ever custom content creation for frame makers. Next up is Shiho Hinamori by Mizu. Shiho is a character that excels at fighting opponents up close, while still giving herself a bunch of space in between them. This is due to her hugely disjointed attacks provided by her bass guitar. Her attacks are slow, but they pack a lot of both power and range. Her recovery is super strong, if a little goofy, which makes her a very unique character. All the sprites and animations for Shiho have been made by Mizu, and the popularity of their previous character and Shirarararararashi has been a great source of inspiration to continue developing Shiho. Meme God has made Duke Nukem, which pauses for a moment to deliver a voice line before delivering a powerful blast which can wipe out opponents. Hail to the king, baby. Here we have Silver by Random. Here's what he had to say. Silver is a zoner. I decided to make him because he's cool. There will be a patch whenever I get my computer fixed. Nice. Next up is Gup by Phyleth. Gup is an assist which will help you deal the final blow against your opponent. He was inspired by the small niche of Risk of Rain fans that want another game to cross over with the franchise. Phyleth has seen some smash moveset ideas for the playable characters of Risk of Rain and wants to eventually bring those ideas to life. Landre by Vicarious is a zoner that has access to a myriad of projectiles and uses her unique down special to store up 4 additional specials for later use by using her meter. Her strongest move is Taboo, 4 of a kind, her down special that costs the full 100 MP. It summons 3 clones that stick around for 30 seconds or until they take 25% of damage. Also, she can fly! Here we have an update to Blob by Gummy Bear King. He has been working on Blob for quite some time now and finally Blob's moveset is finished. There are just some few miscellaneous tweaks that need to be made before Blob can be released to the public. Here we have Magic Aura by Trixlix. Magic Aura is a sphere that appears in your position and prevents any character or projectile from entering it and is active for a long time. It is very useful in a wide variety of scenarios and is more effective when generated right next to your opponent. To see even more awesome custom content, watch this video here. I'd like to thank my channel members, Visual Error, Hoshino Kabi, Salt Levels Max, and Frame Makers for helping support the channel. Thanks for watching.